Basic education in Kenya is free, compulsory and a human right to every Kenyan child. Despite these, the education sector has faced challenges such as resources, manpower, policies, poor planning, among many others over the years. According to the government, the ongoing curriculum reform in the country is part of the efforts set out to curb the problems in the sector. We have looked at our development and we are answering the question of our needs. We want education, we want training, we want preparation of our children to be responsive to our development needs and to the growth of our country. Yeah. Yeah. Beyond the measures being put in place to improve the quality of education as a country, the philosophy behind our education systems, specifically this new curriculum, is contestable. The question is, if you removed a textbook, if you removed a desk, if you removed a blackboard, will learning take place? If you removed these things, 90% of the teachers in Kenya will tell you that learning is paralyzed. But in real sense, learning will not be paralyzed because it's supposed to be a continuous process. We must go to the cardinals of emphasizing on learning as opposed to emphasizing on teaching. I'll give you an example of what it means to have more teaching and less learning. Meet any average teacher and they tell you that I have covered the syllabus. But flip the same question and ask them, how many children covered the syllabus? It's very likely that the teacher may have covered 12 topics and the children never understood topic one. So they were basically left on topic one. So what is the measure of success? Is it what the teacher has done or is it what the child has done. Other than the skill base that we needed to improve on, in terms of content there was also a variation. Based on our needs assessment and research that we had read and even the, the AMBO Commission which even recommended the areas that we could look at, we thought that that was a base enough for us to begin uh, relooking at how we want learning to go on and what we actually want the children to do. The big shift that we have is actually 